Hi everyone, my name is Mariella and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna go over my August Trader Joe's food haul. Um, we are at the end of August going into September, which means pumpkin palooza is coming to a Trader Joe's near you. Let's go ahead and jump right in. First things first, I purchased the spicy plant-based snack rinds, pork things. They, they're supposed to um, mimic like the pork rinds, um, but seven grams of protein per serving, gluten-free, vegan. So um, if you haven't picked these up, I recommend that you do. So they're really good. They don't taste vegan, so that's what I really like about them, but they look like this. Really good, really, really good. Okay, you guys know I love my fruits balls, so I ended up getting a whole box of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight of them in here. I think you get like a discount if you buy a whole box, but got these, these are super good. You guys have seen me test these out, so if you wanna see that, go to the previous video. Um, dialed up my turkey chomps and the beef chomps. So the jalapeno beef and then the turkey ones are really good. Pick that up. Um, next thing is for those of you who want to go low carb, I suggest you pick up the hearts of palm pasta. Um, this is not a new item. Um, this has been out for quite some time, but it's really good. Um, the key to this is making sure you drain it all the way before you cook it, because um, it comes in, um, you know, liquid or whatever. Um, next thing, this New Zealand manuka honey. This is uh, probably the best honey out there. I don't know what the UMF 10 plus stands for, but I just heard that it was really, really good. Um, and I have used it in the past um, and I just needed to pick up some more. So there's that. Next thing, you guys know I like my sparkling apple cider vinegar drink. Um, really good. If you guys haven't picked that up, I suggest that you do because it's really yummy. There's that one bag. Oh, by the way, I spent a total of $115.76 at Trader Joe's and I got 47 items. So, yeah. Bananas, organic bananas. Um, this pizza, it's not really the healthiest, but Phil really likes this pizza. It's actually really good too. I've talked about it in the past. Um, speaking of pizza, I picked up this crust and I'm gonna try to make um, pizza tonight for dinner. And it's two pizza crusts in one. But um, yeah, it's wood-fired oven pizza. Um, what are the ingredients on this? Wheat flour, extra virgin olive oil, salt, um, yeah, yeast. So pretty clean ingredients in that. And then for the pizza, I got um, the light mozzarella cheese and then the pepperoni. Actually, I think this is new because I haven't seen this before, but I don't know. You guys tell me if it's new or not. For meal prep, 96% lean ground beef is always good. Throw in some taco seasoning and the green dragon sauce. It's really good. Um, organic brown rice, because you can never have too much brown rice and it's always good um, if you're on the go or you're trying to make a quick dinner, it's perfect for that. Um, if you guys haven't tried these cauliflower, again, these are not new either, but these are good um, if you're low carb. Um, I like to make sandwiches out of these really good or like an avocado toast ish with this is really good um breakfast sausage good macronutrients 10 grams of protein 
for two of these. So eat four, 20 grams of protein, you're good for the morning. Um, cauliflower, roasted cauliflower. I like to put these on my salads. It's really good. This is not a new item, but it's, um, it's really good. Organic strawberries for my toast in the mornings that I like to put um, my ricotta cheese is what I like to put in there. Um, actually, I wanted to show you guys um, what the ricotta cheese looks like. Give me one. This is probably one of my favorite ricotta cheeses. I tried the whole milk one um, or the regular one from Whole Foods. I didn't really like it. It was really like runny, but this is like really fluffy. Um, and it looks like that. And it's so sweet. Well, it's not so sweet, but um, and there's like a sweet to sweetness to it. It's really good. But I put it on toast. I cut a strawberry or two. Put a little bit of uh, grass-fed butter and um, manuka honey, and it's really good. Good macros as well. One second. It's still morning here while I'm shooting this, and I need my coffee. Um, another item that I found: tapas, tapas style grilled artichoke. Um, this is really good. I got this a couple of weeks ago. It's not a new item. Um, but I put it on the cast iron skillet. Um, it does have a lot of like oil. So just um, see how it's like, it's literally tons of oil in there. So I just grab it and I cook it in the cast iron skillet. It's so good. I had it with um, steak um, and it was really yummy. Um, you can also maybe put it on the a heart of palm pasta, that would be really good. But um, I got pizza sauce, if I didn't say that already, I got pizza sauce for the pizza that I'm making tonight. Um, and the last three items, obviously my kombucha and my orange juice that I like to marinate stuff in. So like, um, like a pollo asado, I like to put this on there, um, or a flank steak. It's, you season it Mexican style the first pumpkin flavored item of the season pumpkin overnight oats so um, really excited for this so it says rolled oats with pumpkin puree so let's Oh my gosh, literally smells like pumpkin puree. So it looks like that. Wow. That is my new favorite overnight oats flavor. It's so yummy, look at that. Wow. Mm. Winner. Winner, winner. Well, um, this is the start of Pumpkin Palooza. I'm all in for it. This is um, a winner in my book. Probably the best overnight oats I've ever had. Um, way to go, Trader Joe's. Well, that concludes uh, this haul. Get ready for Pumpkin Palooza coming out of Trader Joe's near you. I believe it's coming September 7th, so I will do a video as soon as all the yummy pumpkin stuff comes out. Um, make sure you subscribe, you comment, you like this video. Tell me what you want to see. Um, if you guys want me to do some recipes, I can do recipes as well. Um, other than that, happy Sunday and have a good day. Cheers. Cheers.